Okay, so um, let's move on and uh, run some other queries. What we'll do that uh, we will still explore where keyword, um, but along with some other flavors, right? Um, so let's have a look at um, the country table. Now if I can find here, okay. What we want to do is basically we will display the country column and the country ID column as long as we will specify an array uh, or we will specify um, certain values that as long as this country name appears in them values then just give us the result right so something like this that select country id country from the country table whereas the country is um, sorry not is where the country is within these uh, values right so let's just say Afghanistan and Bangladesh oops if I can type it correct and China let's see what results do we get right so if I run that cool um, and we will also or to buy country ID and yeah okay so if we pass just like that and we say descending yeah it doesn't make sense why would I want to have it uh, in a descending order but just to make the query right okay cool so um, let's copy that query again come back and let's start right so um, let's specify that we want the countries and we will say we'll select the table and that will be the country table in fact it'd be much easier if I can just yeah paste it here okay so to select um, the country ID and the country itself and then we will have certain um, condition so here we're um, so this is another keyword obviously you can see in the auto completion of my editor um, editor so here we will just specify that you know where the country name is within these values that we are going to provide so I'll just simply copy and paste always good great and then let's just order them by country ID and we will have it in descending order and once we do all that we will just get the results right and then just let's return the countries so by any luck if we run that there we go okay so let's have a look at the database and see that if we can use these other conditionals that are available to us um, so what would be the right table let's have a look uh, film right so let's see if the film has any great yeah okay so what we will do we'll run a query where we will get the records the name of the films right along with the special features so we'll get the title the film id and the special feature right and we will say that uh, give us all the records where the replacement cost is between whatever values that we specify right so let's have a look uh, so select all from uh, film so let me just run this so that will give me uh, yeah values to work with 
So let's go back and let's say that select film ID and give me the title and give me the uh, what else special features maybe yeah so let's do that let's give me these three values uh, from the film where so we'll say uh, film ID title special features and of course we also want to get the uh, replacement costs because that's the uh, column we are going to use in our conditional so we will say that where the replacement cost right um that's between and let's see so it's 20.99 yeah 18.99 uh 1899 and 2099 right and let's um order by and we'll order them by a film id right yeah okay so if we run this great so that's the so we've got about thousand results and if you look at it so the replacement costs are between 1899 to um, 2099. But if I were to say 1999, let's just limit the result. Great. Okay. And what happens if I say order by film ID but limit to 10 results, right? And yeah, I think that would be enough for the query that we would write, right? Um, so so that's the results that we are getting at the moment. What we will do is we will take this query now and we will start writing again as usual. All right. So let me just copy here. Great. Okay. Uh, a bit of indentation is always good. And now, um, so we will get the films and let's start writing the query. So the first thing we will select the table and the table would be film yeah okay then we will select some fields and the fields that we are going to select are film id and we need the title special features yeah okay and we will also get the replacement cost So we've selected the fields and now we will pass in our where and we will say between. That's cool, right? That's very cool and very considerate uh, really of um, the, you know, the Laravel to provide all these methods. So it accepts the column and the values arrays, right? So the column would be the replacement cost. right and the values we have identified as 1999 and 2099 and then what we will do is we will order them order by and we will order it by film ID by the way if we don't order it it will automatically order it by uh the id itself unless you want it descending in descending order then you need to specify but anyway it's fine and then we will just limit it by uh 10 result and then we will get the results and by any luck that should give us the result it is in return oops uh forms so if i there we go uh, so we've got 10 results, absolutely the same. Academy, then Holy, and uh, yeah. So that was another um, sort of where conditional, where you have to, um, you know, 
get the result but you provide a conditional that as long as you know the value is in between two values then you can actually use where between we also use limit where you can limit it so i suppose another one that we can use is so we've used the between what about not between right so if i were to say that give me everything as long as the replacement cost is not between 1899 to 2099 let's run this ah so these are the results that we got right let's come back and it's you know magically we have a method available to us so if i were to remove this skip method and run this there you go so age goldfinger uh, ace goldfinger and adaptation holds and all that stuff so yeah that's absolutely fine uh, in fact the results are a bit different because we need to specify 1899 and 2099 and there we go was it 1899 and 2099 yeah so get me these results where they're not between the replacement cost of this and if you look at the title now affair age and the last one is alaska so let's see and it is alaska great so these were a few methods obviously we can't cover every conditional but um by all means just go ahead and just have a look like you know you've got so many different uh, conditionals or clauses that you can use for example you've got where the year so you can specify the year you know where the year is less than or greater than uh, a date a, a year column right uh, so we took we we looked into the between and we looked into the not between um we looked into where in where column you can specify a column the date field where exists you know it takes a callback and there are just tons and tons of different methods that you can use right and you can also pass in the or uh, so you will say that right get me the result so in this case for example get me uh, the title from the film uh, where the title is let's say um, African egg in fact uh, we can try and write it down right why not um, so let's get rid of this and we will say that where title is but um, okay so African egg, is it? Okay. Or where title is uh, Agent Truman. So Agent Truman, if I can spell correct. And then just get me the results. Right. Okay. Let's see. There we go. So Aiden Truman and African Egg, right? So there are just tons and tons of different methods that you can utilize. Um, so I hope that you do find it uh, a bit useful and uh, we've kind of briefly touched on the OVEAR clauses, but if you do have any questions, um, you know, do ask in the comment section and I will try my best to answer. Well, till next time.